Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch Account tutorial on how to import contacts into Windows Live Mail. You can see here we're in Windows Live Mail. You can open it by clicking on the Start menu, clicking on the Windows Live folder, or you may have Windows Live Mail in your Start menu, or you can also click in the search bar and type in Windows Live, and it'll come up. But here in Windows Live, I'm going to click on Contacts. So I have a few contacts here. If you have a Windows Live ID, you can pull contacts in from there. But over here, click here, and we'll say Import. And you see you can import Windows address book files, VCF files, Outlook files, address book for the current Windows user, or comma delimited files, which are our CSV files. So we'll pick that. It comes up. We have to find our file. I have one right there. So now that's there. Click Next. Now a point that is often a point of confusion when configuring files being imported from CSV is when it asks you to map the fields you wish to import. And the thing is, is that going from one mail program to another mail program, sometimes the fields are in different places. So you see here, we have first name to first name, middle name, middle name, last name, last name. You can go down. In addition, some email programs don't have all of the fields that other email programs do. So, for example, say we don't want to import any phone numbers, just email addresses. We don't want their pager. We don't want their fax. We'll get their address and so on. So once you're ready and you see home city, home city, you can change the mapping by clicking here. So you can select the contact field, the text field, first name, and then it will change it. But when you've got that all set, click Finish. It begins to import your contacts, and then they'll all come in based on the criteria that you've laid out and the mapping changes. So this is how you can import contacts in Windows Live Mail. Once again, you can also import them from your Windows Live ID account if you have one. And that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.